Ooh. Yeah, we started. We started doing this. God. Oh. Hey, hey, hi, guys. This is Adam for Inside the Brick Box Lego Community News. Douglas is just giving me hell in the background. Uh, yes, it's Wednesday. Oh, God. Guess who? who? I didn't mute the thing in the background. I heard it. <laughs> uh, tonight at the show, we'll be talking about. Oh my god, Toys R Us is back, but is it? No, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Lego's ideas 10 year set. Oh my god, it's stupid. Oh my god. Um, new Lego VIP program starting soon. Uh oh, minions are coming. <gasps> Get ready, Guru. Get ready. <laughs> oh, controversy over in New Zealand at their local, um, what do you call it? Um, fan event. That's it. That's it. And we'll wind it up with a little bit talking to, <gasps> oh, new improvements coming to Lego Boost, Lego Mine, uh, was it Lego Power Up and Power Up Plus. This is much more of this episode of Inside the Brick Box Lego Community News. And as usual, as he butted in earlier, <laughs> <laughs> Douglas is along the ride. And I actually can hear him this week. And now he's not going to talk. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, so, some reason last week. Um, oh, well, actually, last few weeks, I just haven't been able to hear Douglas during the stream. Um, somehow, Hangouts decided to um, turn his turn my main volume down. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> so I can actually hear him. So, like, struggling to hear him during the stream. Was, was during one of his toilet breaks. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Can't have that screen. <laughs> okay. Let, let's get into the news. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> latest news to come out. Um, actually popped up early this morning. I was actually quite surprised about it. Douglas comes back. Bolting in on Messenger, saying, hey, man, man, have you seen this, seen this? And I go, already seen it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. I sit on I sit on um, so the important. internet day in, day out, watching <laughs> all the Lego news. So I am actually one, one of the ones who actually jump on things when early. Now, if you're from overseas... And haven't really seen this. Um, Toys R Us here in Australia went basically belly up mid last year. So basically almost a year ago now. Um, I think it was July last year was when it finally wrapped up here in Australia. Um, but the branding of Toys R Us did not die. A company was formed and um, is actually currently in the process of reforming Toys R Us in the US. Yes, Toys R Us is coming back to the US, but in the process, they have sold, I think it's sold the rights or licensed the rights. I can't remember the right wording to it, to a uh, Australian web based toy store here in Australia. Um, Called Hobby Warehouse, and um, I didn't even know they existed until I was talking to Douglas earlier, <laughs> and he was telling me about them. Uh, they've been around from they've been around in Australia. They were launched in twenty eleven. Uh, what was it based? They were basically eBay based back when they first started. Pretty much, yep. Yep, yep. Um, I guess the business has grown to a point that they have money and have now acquired the 
basically the images and um, naming of Toys R Us Australia and New Zealand. Yes, New Zealand as well. Um, branding, right? So now they can now change their branding to be Toys R Us. A part of this Toys R Us um, rebranding of their initial company will be uh, first their website. So um, it'll be Toys R Us again, but it won't be the stupid, ridiculous ordering system they used to have. What was a pain in the ass? It'll just basically be Hobby Warehouse's ordering slot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I think it's just going to be basically, I think, their system just with a new skin on it, basically. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So, um, Their plan is to launch and go live on the 12th of June, so a little bit over six days to go. Yep. Uh, Toys R Us will be selling Australia New Zealand. That's going to be the interesting one. Um, sorry, I'm just... Because Lego doesn't work Australian sellers selling to New Zealand. Oh, they'll probably have have a um, external. I put bets external warehouse for New Zealand. Yep. I'm putting the bets on that. Um, okay. With physical stores, um, yes and no in some ways. Um, it's not going to be the same type of format you were used, used to Toys R Us being. Um, it's going to be more, I think they call it like an experience store or something. <laughs> where you can actually go in and see the products. Um but I put bets they'll, they'll have proper brick and mortar stores, but I reckon it'll be I've got a feeling how how it feels. I think more along the lines of probably like Toy World. Um From my understanding, Hobby Hobby Warehouse does have one store that is like open, like their main warehouse. You can actually does have a store for Yeah. So yeah, I probably predict like Maybe a smaller. Um, actually, actually, I rephrase that. Mister Toys Toy World. Um, Douglas probably hasn't seen Mister Toys Toy World. It's a little bit tad bigger than an ordinary Toy World, but it's not as big as Toys R Us was. I think it'll be something along that line, in my mind. Gift cards previously purchased from previous Toys R Us is not valid because this is not Toys R Us. As such, it's Toys R Us branding. It's got a different ABM, basically. Yeah. <laughs> well, the new comp the new company is what do they call it in Toys Toys R Us Australia. Toys R Us Australia PTYLTD, that's the old one, Proprietary Limited, was the one that was liquidated and that was what the cards were attached with. And yeah. Uh, yes, from the sound of it, they're going to. Um, Oops, no, that's not the one. Um, oh, there was questions about uh, will they employ people who used to work for Toys R Us? They have said yes, as long as they put their applications in through the normal way. Um, and management will be hobby 
square house. I guess they'll slowly change their core business look over to Toys R Us in the coming weeks. Which basically, uh, they'll wear different T-shirts. Yeah, basically that's it. <laughs> and, yeah, their website will change. So, yeah, so this is all the major changes coming to Toys R Us here in Australia. Um, hopefully it's for the good. Hopefully it, it's a lot better than the um, original Toys R Us for, um, branding. Uh, so far from the look of their website, um, I've been over to the Hobby Warehouse um, website and um, price-wise is quite competitive. Um, there was a lot of people I've heard were bitching, saying, oh, they're going to be expensive, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, keep your eyes out for that. Um, yeah, paying, for a, paying for a license might push their prices up a little. Yeah, true. That's if the license could even be a franchise. I don't know. Who cares? Um, geez, the chat was quite tonight, Douglas. <laughs> what? No, Tess, no. Unless YouTube's done that again, because I had to, I actually had to reset up this stream for tonight, because I actually set it up last night, hoping to get advertising all day. And then it disappeared and I had to redo it. So I think YouTube has done its little problem with me again. PC fees. <laughs> so let me restore it. So anyone in the chat? Probably not. <laughs> no. no. No, <laughs> not even Douglas. Damn. <laughs> I'll put that chat out in case they come in late. Sometimes, sometimes it happens. So yeah, would have been nice to actually have someone to chat to talk with, but yeah. Okay, well. If if you get this in in the um, watch after, uh, leave below what you think a Toys R Us Australia will be this time around. Will it be for the better or for the worst? Moving right along. As long as I paid attention to what went wrong last time, I should be right. True. Lego's ideas set or ten years anniversary fan vote set. I don't want to say this. It's so. I know. It's the International Space Station. Yeah. It's no longer around a module. I don't know what people vote. I, I, I've got a feeling no one actually put votes in. And I think all the fanboys got in. So, yeah. So, yeah, expect a really boring set to come out. <laughs> uh, I don't know. With the lunar module on that, it might look nice, you know, having a space station, Saturn V lunar module, the NASA, the NASA shuttle, you know, having all the different variants. If you are that a space collector, a funny feeling it will look half decent. Mm -hmm. If you've got everything, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, if you were living under the rock, we did have a period of time where we could have voted on a previous set to be actually what well, hadn't made it through. Um. 
to be produced into a set for the 10 year anniversary of Lego's ideas slash Cusco. And yeah, we ended up with the space station. Uh, so expect that in stores soon. So, yeah. It was all part of Lego Ideas, one a month. <laughs> this month uh, and it's uh, for a gift. Yeah. Oh, actually, talking about free gift, have you heard that there's been issues with the free gift system? I've heard about that online. Uh, the Lego um, Luna module set was supposed to come in with a, um, a patch or a, what they call them, a badge, as we would call them. Um, yeah. This system says that they're not available anymore, uh, but clearly Lego has been reporting they are still available. Yeah, it's like they're sending them out, but it's not actually showing up on your invoice. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of errors in the system at the moment. Um, plus, um, the, the rocket thing, the rocket boy thing, their free gift thing. Um, yeah, that's not even supposed to be listed yet here in Australia. And for some reason, it's popping up. What's that? So that. Popping up. Yeah. It's not supposed to be out until the 10th. Oh, that's unfortunate because I already have one. Yeah. The funny part is, is the um, it doesn't have a Lego Ideas number on it. It just says Lego Ideas, and then the actual set number is four zero three three five, which deviates from all the other Lego Ideas numbers. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah. <clears throat> so moving right along. Sheesh, we're getting through this news very quickly. <laughs> it's annoying when you have no chat. Ah, new Lego VIP program for online and in stores in proper Lego branded stores. Not our Lego branded stores, but Lego branded stores overseas are owned by Lego. Um, yeah. This is part of their... Was it digitalizing of their program? You never know. Uh, we might get something. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, um, they are uh, changing the system. Uh, I'm trying to predict a good or bad way. I'm not sure yet. Um it seems to suggest even if you don't have the points, you can spend VIP points somehow. Interesting. Um, first thing you can see in the picture, yeah, VIPs are not red anymore. It's going to be blue. I'm sick of people seeing red. So, yeah. yeah. I've got my thumb on the wrong side. I don't, I don't, it really doesn't make sense why it's blue. Yeah, my, my, my sense red was correct because Lego, Lego is red. Maybe they're sick of people seeing red. <laughs> uh, Points will be changing different ways of um, resent, getting resent. Oh, damn it. What do you call the word? Oh, um, by the way, you um, redeem them. Redeem. That's the word. I was trying to think of that word and it wouldn't come down. Um, instead of being automatic, they'll have a. Um, 
Oh, damn it. My brain's not working in this cold tonight. Um, basically, uh, a, a reward store where you can go and redeem your points for um, vouchers instead of having um, your automatic how much off thing what usually comes up. Um, plus there's, um, I've heard rumors there's other like added bonus stuff as well. What, um, is a lot different to what it is currently on the VIP program. So it's something different again. So will it be good? Will it be bad? We will not know until it has been running for a pre, I mean, a good 12 months before we find the outcome of this new VIP program. Let me go. He's built. Uh, let's move right along. Illuminations and Lego are teaming up to bring us... <gasps> Minions. Banana <laughs> minions. So uh, Lego has secured the rights of Mega Construct. If you don't know what Mega Construct is, that's um, Mega Blocks, the competitor. It's a bit of tit tit for tat. Hey, Jigglers. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Well, they, bit. they 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 got all the bay um Nickelodeon. Yeah, of Lego now. Lego's doing the opposite and taking all the Illumination sets off them. Who's who is Illumination through? Are they through Warner Brothers? Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. basically. Oh, actually, I actually, I thought it was um, Fox in in the beginning because of the um things to do with um. Uh, was it Disney? And then yeah. I read up, it wasn't. It was to do with um, Warner Brothers. Yeah. You'll, you'll yeah. find it's a consolidation thing, Warner Brothers. It's a lot easier if you deal with one company. Yeah. So you'll find that bit by bit, everything Warner Brothers owns will move over to Lego. Yeah, true. True. Oh, that's, that's the same with Disney. Disney, yeah. now they've got Fox, it'll be the same with that. You'll see future on everything when we go over to Lego. Yeah. Well, Lego already has, um, still has, as much as people um, think. Yeah, they still have the rights to Simpsons. I think it was a seven-year deal, like what Harry Potter is. So, yeah. So, next year... Uh, I guess around June, July, maybe May, we'll um see the rise of Groot sets. And to me, they dropped the ball with the Simpsons. Every year, they should have done like one town piece. Yeah, like a Mose. Oh, family. that was that. Yeah, that was a bit of a missing. But then again, I, I think half the problems the problem is they should have um brought out some. Smaller sets for the Simpsons too. Yeah, brought out the cars and yeah. Uh, that, yeah. Oh, so the town, the town square set, like the statue. Yeah. Release that as a like Jeremiah. Yeah, what wasn't the name again? <laughs> Jebediah. Jebediah. Yeah, yeah. Released a Jebediah Springfield like yeah. statue and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So um, this is right on the tail. Um, a few months ago, Lego got the Trolls ones as well. Yep, Trolls. So they got – so now Lego's got Minions, Trolls, what next? Smurfs? Oh, my God, yes, they would. Think about it. Oh, no, Smurfs is Sony. Sorry. 
Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. One leg. Oh, what are you putting up? I can't read it. Oh. <laughs> Is that on the bottom of the box? Yeah, it's on the bottom of the box. Yeah, and it's got like the 50th anniversary thing. But uh, yeah, for the first uh, so first man on the moon. 50th anniversary set. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So more licensed sets to come to Lego. Not like we need any more. <laughs> Okay, moving right along. Uh, this one we'll probably talk about a little bit longer. <sighs> the controversial um, problem in the ACOL community in um, New Zealand. Oh, please don't play. Please don't play. Please don't play. It's just me. Um. A Lego April who came to what was the name of the Oh damn it, they didn't tell you what the show's name was. Uh, it's Brick Oh yeah, Brick uh, on New Zealand, that's it. And he had was it twelve well known Bible stories? Um and yeah. Sadly, uh, was it three of them were, ooh, a little bit not not G enough. Probably not even PG. I think some of them were borderline borderline M. Uh, from what Dan said on ABC mm. stream, there was. The ones they showed the pictures of weren't. There was one that was much worse, apparently. Yeah. The one that. That's what I said. There was one that was basically borderline M. So, yeah. So, if, if you want the full story of what actually happened, other than the really hyped up one, um, who was it? Oh damn it! I can't. Oh, where's the link? Uh, was it stuff. Co. Nz put up? Um, go over. Uh, Daniel actually has put up a full rundown of what actually happened. Yep. Uh. It's a long read, so yeah. I'll leave I'll leave a link down in the chat. If you're a part of Oslo, go over, have a look. If not, join. Um, I'm trying to find. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Um. Well, that's disappointing. So other than the breast gate bit of it, mm. uh, there was the baby about to be killed uh, and a child to be sac sacrificed was the other one. Yeah. So, yeah. You can understand why... why um, and our lug would be a little bit iffy about that, especially since it, it, it's against Lego's G rating. But, you know, anybody who watches Rick and... Most kids watch... have seen Rick and Morty. It's no... It's kind of no big deal for them these days. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah... We grew up with Randy Stimpy. That's, that's not really yeah, actually, yeah, I would like to point out Red and Stimpy was actually quite tame. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Beavis and Butthead. That was worse. 
South Park and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and uh, Dora? No, not Dora. Uh, De- Denise. I think it was. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, Denise, yeah. yeah, whatever that one is. Yeah, she. That was another bad one. <laughs> if mum knew I was watching that one on ABC, she would have hit the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, yeah, no. I, 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 I could understand that it, it was an R like trying to preserve them, their, their R like status because, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, our lugs do have strict rules and regulations. Lego sits down for them. And, um, yeah, keeping a, a G rating as close as possible. Yes, I know us adults, we do get up a little mi- mischief on our displays. But usually we hide them, yeah. and are usually not obvious to parents and kids. Yeah, like Simpsons humor. They, yeah, basically uh, the, adult, the adults and the kids are laughing at two different things. Yeah, true. <laughs> and um, yeah, just to have something that's a little bit over the top. Uh, and the funny thing about they tried to work with him to make his displays a little bit more tasteful, as the saying is, and um, keeping that G rating. But on on on, on the top side, anyway, um, a lot of um, oh, what's the word? Religious things are frowned upon by Lego either way anyway. So, yeah. If you don't don't know any of the R-Lug rules, uh, you can look them up. Um, a lot of them are very easy to come by. You can actually read up a lot of the terms and conditions of being an R-Lug online. Um, if I find the link, I might drop it in down below if I remember. <laughs> but, yeah, no, go check out all the R- R-Lug, um rules and regulations. Go check out both the articles, um, the blowing up version, and go and see Daniel's comment in um, Oslug as well. So, yeah. Sheesh, I thought State Origin wouldn't have killed us tonight. <laughs> oh, my God, it's dead. It is dead. Sorry, guys, if you missed this. I should have rescheduled it for Thursday. <laughs> what's, the, what's the State of Origin? <laughs> <coughs> oh, damn it. Okay. Let's get off the. I, I was actually expecting that to go longer, but no one's in the chat to really talk about it. So, yeah, no, leave <laughs> leave comments down below. What you what do you think? What should have happened? How it could have been dealt in a better direction? Um, yeah, they should have looked it for all the controversials worth to create generate publicity for themselves. Or they, or they should have <laughs> just set up a marquee. And you had to show ID to go and see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's something like that. I don't know. Okay, let's move along. Um, ideas. It's like I honestly believe that they should consider that just having like a either do completely a mature show, audience show for adults. Yeah, true. Or something like that once a year or something like that. Yeah. Because there's lots of people who build things that aren't appropriate for these sorts of shows. Yeah. Okay. Enough of that. Let's move along. <laughs> yeah, this one I know we'll talk a little bit about because I think Douglas would be interested in talking about. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, 
actually, no, I think it wasn't uh, a few weeks ago. No, I think it was just over a week ago. Uh, Lego invited a whole bunch of um, fan fans, Lego fan media people along for a talk about, and and I have actually some log, log, local lugs in Europe um, to uh, 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 talk about all the changes coming to uh, Lego's, um, damn it, what do you call them, electronics Bob. side. Bob systems. So all their systems and that, like that, uh, for power up, power, power plus boost spike. Whew, that's a mouthful. Um <laughs> A part of that, a uh, part of the little speech, um, I actually um, found a video. I should try and find it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it again, but there was a video online. Uh, fellow uh, AFOL, who's on YouTube, actually got to interview um, the lead designers for the Power Up system. Um, well, basically, they're in charge of everything from Lego Mindstorms, Lego Boosts, Lego Educational and Lego Educational Electronic Sets, because there's multiples um, that include Spike and um, We Do. Um, also, Power Up, Power Up Plus. Um, if you don't know what Power Up Plus is, the replacement um, technique version of Power Up. Um, and also they are the minds behind power functions. <laughs> a part of the uh, a part of the interview I was re uh, reading. How can you read a video? Um, if you're deaf, you can. <laughs> Actually, true. And it's not like YouTube gets their the 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 thing below. Yeah, actually. Too Turn on the um, subtitles below. You'll have a crack up. <laughs> yeah, all the automatic stuff. Because it doesn't pick. If, you, if you're not American enough, it doesn't pick it up right. I saw this, this little sidetrack here. I saw this awesome Scottish YouTube thing where they did a, like a voice activated elevator. And it's got these two Scottish blokes in there. Oh, it's hilarious. Uh, so yeah <laughs> getting back on track i love lego <laughs> as as abc would say um yeah they were interview interviewing the guys and they were saying um the lego power up system um redevelopment and actually changing over from power functions has been the largest project they have ever done with lego um since power functions um so it was lego's equivalent of sending man to the moon yeah true um yeah no and the redevelopment of the program has taken actually surprisingly quite a long time it's been basically started back when we first saw we do. When we do first came out, we do was actually the prototype. So we do was the baby. Yep, for the um, development of the system, and that's the reason why you find a lot of these newer products do go educational related first, and then come to the um, opener, uh, the more direct market later on down the tracks it's lego's way of testing the waters um and a part of the a part of the interviews they went through and they were talking about um well how long it's taken them um uh, the power power up um uh, plus system what is for technique has been their basically their hardest project to date because they had to literally redesign and build up a new collection of um, parts 
And at the same time, it was actually developed with the Spike system. Um, another thing I found out in this interview as well is that um, you know how they got all the sensors and that? Yep. You can actually pull those sensors apart and reconfigure them. Oh, can you? The sensors are actually reconfigurable. So you can change a sensor to be different to what it originally was. Um, Lego has on purposely opened the ecosystem to the spike system. No. So they're not going to wait for people to hack it this time. They're just yep. automatically yep. giving They've it They've just them. literally opened it up straight away from the beginning. So Spike yeah, has Spike. been developed to be something a little bit more versatile this time around. And the number one thing question he said to the guy, will speakers come to power up? And Lego hesitated. The two, the two team developers hesitate. They said, oh, yeah, you can get sound through the app, blah, 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 blah. And the guy asked them again and looked at them, and you can see in their eyes there is something in development. So there's something for a set that they can't talk about. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. So clearly, clearly... Um, he had almost slipped the word on development. And then he started interviewing um, them again and asked another hard question of what AFOLs are like or wanting Lego to do is to produce adapter cables for power functions. And the word was yes, no. <laughs> I know, it's weird. <laughs> <coughs> there is word he could not, at the time he said, I could not say, I could not deny, so he couldn't say anything. There may or might not be something in the future. Yep. And he basically tried to basically dance around the question mean lego has something in the works um words, they're entertaining the idea whether it's economically feasible is yeah surprisingly <laughs> i reckon it wouldn't be that expensive to do because all they have to do is create basically it's a controller chip for um power function that's so all they have to do and all it has to do is be a specialized chip for each device they've made in power function. So one for the M, one for the L, one for the XL, one for the L, and so on and so on. And even the train motors. They wouldn't they wouldn't waste their money making separate chips for them all. It would have to be a, a unified chip that can control. Oh yeah, it could be, it could be an automatic sensing chip too. Yeah. Um because they all use different power and stuff, so it'd be able to sense yeah. what motor it's Well, surprisingly, um, a lot of people don't know uh, power functions motors are actually 4.5 volts. A lot of people don't know that. Yes, they do run with 9 volts, but when you get into the mechanical side of it, there is a resistor on the motor that actually drops it down to 4.5. Yeah. And that is actually the basis of power up. Power up, yes, it's got nine volts worth of power, but only 4.5 of that power is used um, for running the actual motors. So that's why you can run two, two motors off one power up um, control hub. Yeah, similar to the old. Um... You can run two train motors, not a problem, but as soon as you go beyond that, you start seeing performance issues. Yeah. Oh. And um, continue, continue on um, questions along the lines before we we'll dive in some new things, new functions coming to power up and boost hubs. Um, 
The other little question what came out. Oh, damn it. Oh, you just said it, and I forgot what it was now. Um... Damn it. I had it in my mind. I lost it, Douglas. Um, what was it? There was one more thing. Um, the voltage control, backwards control compatibility. Um, um, programmability. Um, um oh, program, yeah, it's on that one. Um, oh, um, the problem with, um, you know, train motors. That was yep. the other question what came up. Thank you, Douglas, for running me back over. Uh, that reminded me. Um, everyone's still asking when will they make it um, the hubs programmable. There is word out that all boost, boost, power up plus, and then power up hub. Actually, have program program programmable memory built into them. No, currently is not enabled yet by Lego, as they are slowly developing their um, software. They say it will come in a future update, probably maybe in the next three years. In the next series. <laughs> yeah. They can surprise us and be out tomorrow. <laughs> no, I love But in the current for, um, ways, um, there is no way of actual um, programming your motors to do certain things or um, controllers and all that. So stuff like that is still coming. It's still getting developed. It will come. Just be patient, as Lego would say. <laughs> Just a minute. This is it. The largest architecture base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's God. It's, it's, it's quite nice. The way you got the crater stuff, the texturing and stuff. To me, this should have been a printed flag piece. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I can understand the gold stickers. It's like when you look at the sticker sheet, that's the sticker sheet. To mm -hmm. me, put it the right way. Those two should have been printed. The rest are fine being stickers, but yeah, the United yeah. States and the flag should have been printed pieces to my mind. Yeah. But everything yeah. else on this is so good looking so far. Okay, let's get back on topic. <laughs> We're nearly there, nearly there. Okay, and yeah, and the final little exciting news. With the launch of the Boost expansion set, we will be able to use the Power Up Bluetooth remote with Boost related, um, what do they call them? Power Hubs. Yep. Cool. So you can maybe control the. Something like I've got a funny feeling it's already being updated or it's in the next update, what's well, just come out. Hopefully. So you should be able to use your controllers to now control your boost enabled products, and this is mainly because of the droids why are coming out. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> One step. So the one thing that is a little, another thing that's a little bit disappointing is they could have made the minifigures to look a little bit more like Buzz and um, Neil Armstrong. They've just gone for a fairly generic face. 
Well, Lego be Lego. <laughs> That, okay. that would have been nice. Yeah, true. Okay, so now let's move along. Hipsa um, Brick Magazine also uh, put out this new information. <coughs> uh, what do we call it? Tutorial on um, how to use all the new um, functions of Power Up. We do not know we're there until now. I guess it only came through with all the updates and all that. All the bits that I forgot to tell you about. Oh, by the way, we forgot to tell you, you can do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we also forgot to tell you, you can do this. And this, and this, and this, and this. <laughs> so, Train Hub, or oh, Train Hub. <laughs> Why did I call it train up? Power Hub, Boost, and the new um, Boost Plus, that's it. Now I think even... Um, no, 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 Spike won't. Spike won't. Um, we'll have capabilities of networking. Um uh, uh, I'll just get down to the right part of the article about networking. What I would like to see is um, laptop networking as well. Yeah. Well, that's supposed to be actually um, unlocking the system soon. So oh, where is it? Where is it? Where does it start the networking article part of it? Okay. Oh, up here. Okay. So... <clears throat> this is along the along the lines there's two versions of the networking networking is two hubs to one controller or the latest one i like is um but actually i think it's not even in this article oh no here we go you can also connect more than one remote now. Now, the reason why they're bringing in this multiple remote thing, um, Lego has um, come to the table um, due to a groups having large displays. Um, you can now uh, tear up, tear up, a remote with um, capabilities of being placed around your display. You don't need to control it. All it's there is to keep your train motor continuing on. As long as it's paired up, instructions are actually here over on um, Hips of Bricks magazine's um, page uh, showing you how to pair up and get... Um, the remotes working together, and you, you basically create a network. So um, I think it's – they say up to seven metres, but the word has been it's more realistic to four and a half metres. And if you've been online and seen some on YouTube and watched some people's train setups, like especially – the massive. That guy up in Queensland whose train runs through his backyard, through his house, through his front yard <laughs> – yeah, you're gonna need a few remotes to keep your train moving if you've got something like yeah, that. Yeah, true. <laughs> oh, your Melbourne Lego train group down there. It's like forty meters long or something. There. I know their their one is massive. So this would basically help them be able to control trains run the power up system. This is already looking bigger than I expected. <laughs> So, yeah, no, it, it's going to open up a lot of opportunities for creating um, awesome engines and all that. Um, having multiple um, boost motor setups. Uh, people who are bitching about um, not being able to run two train motors. Uh, yes, you can. 
I uh, just gotta know how to set them up right. That's right. <coughs> so you can do something um, really um, confusing like this. This minute. Yeah, they can see. Yep. So all I've done is turned one of those controllers 180 degrees, so that when I turn it. Because you'll have one motor facing the opposite direction to the yeah. other, it'll still count. So you can go one, yeah. two, three, four, to increase your speed, one, two, three, four, to decrease your speed. The only th problem I've got is accessing the, the stop. Hole. I need a an axle pin, an axle to press that. Yeah, and I couldn't get to the stop button, emergency stop button, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's Douglas's way around it but um give it time i reckon lego will have a fix for that down the track yeah because you need one to run reverse basically especially on a um a cargo train if you dual motor yeah yeah but see is how how they got the, the this set up um, you could actually run multiple engines, as the saying goes. Yeah. So, that, that, in my mind, that would look very impressive. Yeah. Having, just, let, let's say, three engines plus maybe even a helper at the end. Yeah. Pushing so around a massive, massive amount of carriages. And the main reason I like running two engines is because I like things to go up and down slopes. Yeah, so I know that. <laughs> having, that extra, having that extra motor on your engine does help a lot. It gives you so much more traction. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, there's a lot of exciting new things come along. Um, let's hope everything improves in the future. Um, <coughs> oh. Damn that cough. So I got rid of it. Things can only get better. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no. Hopefully, hopefully everything with LEGO Boost will get better in the future. As they're saying, it's a continuous developing on system. Um, yes, they're nearly there. Give it time. LEGO will produce more and more um, power-up related products. As the developer said, they are very costly to produce and it does take a long time to produce a product. And, and that's the reason why Lego, Lego Spike and Lego um, Power Up Plus came out at the same time. They're actually designed side by side. And that's the thing too. If you look around online, you can find all the photos of all the large motors and extra large motors and everything that's mm. Yeah, so it's all there. It's all ready. So there's, there is a lot of selection out there. Um, yeah, that technique four by four crawler is that going to be motorized later this year? Yeah, as well? yeah, that's actually one of the, one of the first sets. Oh, I can't share pictures just yet because there hasn't been official pictures put out by Lego, but there is a crawler. Yeah. You know, you know the four, off road four drives. Yeah. They're re-releasing it, people. I want one. I like the look of it. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. Yep. Oh, I love the look of it. Have a look around. You'll probably find pictures. Um, I think um, it was a slip of the Lego's um, catalogue in Japan came out early. Yeah, Japan or China, yeah, one of them. Yeah. Came out I early. think it was Japan from the text. Yeah. It was Japanese text. It wasn't Chinese. Cause Chinese, Chinese text. You can tell the difference. It was more flowing. Yeah. Chinese is very dun, 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 straight stuff. Yeah. So yeah. So that's that's the exciting set to see come out, and I actually do want to get that set. Yeah. So, but yeah. I cannot afford that big crawler, uh, the big um, bucket digger. Technique is going to send a lot of people broke the second I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got faith in my old man, though. 
Yeah, so if you've got after pay, zip pay, and everything, make sure it's all cleared out for the second half of the year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't help at the moment that I, I, I could have got it all with an advance, but um, one of my pension advances, but that is all going into buying new camera equipment to bring you new and exciting content. So if you haven't subscribed to my new YouTube channel, yes, it hasn't had any videos put up just yet. It is coming soon. But because Just it's waiting for new, new camera gear. Because it's all new equipment, it's not going to disappear overnight. It's going to be all available for two years, not a problem. Yeah, true, true. And plus, there's going to be a lot of new products. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, other than, don't forget, we do have the Gladstone Brick events coming up. Uh, middle weekend of the school holidays here in Queensland. Uh, go over to Brick Events facebook page for more information i hear it's gonna be ballistic from the sound of the excitement of the local communities up there <clears throat> so that's and tonight's show in a nutshell and that's without a lego master <laughs> that's without a lego <laughs> master oh god <laughs> Thank you for Douglas for coming along. He is a good mate. Um, I, I don't know how we stumble over each other. <laughs> no, no, I think I was watching the sisters thing. Yeah, yeah it must be. It must be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't know Douglas, Douglas is one of my long term hasslers, as the saying goes. Hasslers. Hesslers. <laughs> troll, aka troll. That's but a good troll. He's a good troll. <laughs> Don't forget, uh, keep out for what, what's your YouTube channel? No, just Douglas McBrickin. Thank you, Douglas McBrickin. Uh, go over and check out his uh, views every day. He's got some cool ones to check out. <laughs> And go, go and bug him, bug him, get, get him to produce some more content for his YouTube channel. Yeah, and no, I've got to get more in there. I've actually got a room walkthrough update I've got to put on. Oh, yes, you got to do that. I haven't gotten around to pressing the button to put it in. <sighs> Diggless. <laughs> Diggless. <laughs> Uh, don't forget, ABC is uh, TGI Friday is on Friday night. I probably won't be on the show. Um, I think ABC streams getting a little bit too cluttered up with celebrities these days. Yeah, we can always use another celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for doing this, Kelly Log. Thank you for everyone watching later on as i know there's no one in the chat uh, thank you for stopping in don't forget that's make the, a noise the, it's the beginning of the lander oh there we go out of focus <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's the beginning of the lander so it's it's got a nice weird shape to it which was always a good thing with lego because yeah, anything with a weird shape always seems to come out really well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, as I say every week, play well, keep on building. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to smash the like button. And until next Wednesday, stay safe and keep on building. Bye for now. See ya. See ya. We might be ya.